Welcome to Headline News 24/7. Please click like and subscribe. Coward Dem who threatened Rand Paul's kids doesn't want his identity exposed. Make him famous. A Berkeley, California man was arrested earlier this week on suspicion of threatening a federal official last week. But what's really odd about this whole story is that reports are saying that he doesn't seem to want people to know his identity after he allegedly wrote to a member of Congress he would gut you like a hog and kill the member's family. Nathaniel Blaine Luffman, who is a former Kentucky resident according to a social media page, was arrested on June 27 and is now in the process of being taken to the state of Oregon in order to face a single charge of retaliating against a federal official by way of threats. This is an offense which carries a maximum term of 10 years in federal prison. Here is more via Chicks on the Right. The Democrat who was recently arrested for threatening to kill Senator Rand Paul and his family with an axe was a Barack Obama fan and used the hashtag, hashtag Obama for life in some of his threats. Police arrested Democrat Nathaniel Blaine Luffman. Paul said that the suspect had left threats threatening to chop up his family with an axe. Officials say Luffman left the messages at Paul's Kentucky offices. According to Mercury News, Luffman is from Berkeley, California but also lived in Kentucky in the past. Luffman also made threats against another official, threatening him as well. Nathaniel Blaine Luffman, a former Kentucky resident, according to his Facebook page, was arrested June 27 and is being taken to Oregon to face a single charge of retaliating against a federal official by way of threats. It carries a maximum term of 10 years in prison. While Luffman's alleged victim is not named in court records describing the threats, U.S. Capitol Police describe him as an Oregon elected official with an office at a federal building in Portland. The court records also say the suspect has been associated with other known threatening communications to members of Congress. Senator Paul thanked the Capitol Police for their efforts to keep him safe. Thank you to the U.S. Capitol Police for their arrest of the man who recently threatened to KL my family and me. Senator Rand Paul, at Rand Paul. July 2, 2018. But the paper discovered that the suspect also posted tweets using the hashtag, hashtag Obama for life and repeatedly came to the support of Democratic candidates. Per Gateway Pundit. In a post on his Facebook page on June 28, Luffman wrote that today's theme is hashtag trouble hashtag double trouble I mean hashtag Biden blame like 2020 election hashtag born to run it's our theme song. You probably don't understand I had to be the hashtag senator of Kentucky. It's not about money or White House but my hashtag pride the idea somebody else sitting in that Senate seat other than me hashtag unacceptable I just could not handle the idea too many hashtag hens to be had, with a bunch of chicken emojis. He frequently live streamed from UC Berkeley, which he claimed is a sovereign nation independent and free from any and all oversight by any nation or peoples. Police say that Luffman also sent threats to other politicians, but those officials have not been publicly identified. These days, Incidents like this can't just be waved off as harmless cranks just sending threats they won't follow up on. After all, just last year, a hardcore Democrat loaded up his GS and took them to a baseball field and began shooting at Republican members of Congress with the hopes of killing as many as he could. Sadly, when Bernie Sanders volunteer James Hodgkinson opened fire at a Virginia baseball park, many were injured. House Majority Leader Steve Scalise, R. L. A., was so badly shot up that he has permanent injuries. In fact, Senator Paul himself was on the baseball field that day and he was also attacked by his crazed Democratic neighbor, who cracked six of the senator's ribs and leaving in danger of death. It took him months to recover. Although Luffman's alleged victim is not actually named in the complaint, Capitol Police described him as an Oregon elected official with an office at a federal building in Portland. Court records also say the suspect has been associated with other known threatening communications to members of Congress before. Luffman allegedly wrote emails and sent voicemails to the official. His email told the victim he'd gut you like a hog and leave your kid's bowels splayed out across floor blood spattered on the door as you lay dead, officials said. Luffman is also allegedly said to have left a voicemail threatening to hack to pieces the official and his daughters use the hashtag hashtag Obama for a life and claimed that the official was involved in a plot to assassinate ex-president Barack Obama in Kentucky. Shortly after Luffman's arrest was entered into the federal court system. Kentucky's junior Republican senator, Senator Rand Paul, tweeted, Thank you to the U.S. Capitol Police for their arrest of the man who recently threatened to kill my family and me. Wow, and the left is busy trying to paint us on the right as being violent haters. That was the news. We thought you might be interested in knowing about this. Please click, like, and subscribe. Thank you.